Hi there, Sagittarius, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 20th through to the 26th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. See what's going on for Saggy. Hang on, I gotta pick up my trusty crystal here. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. First of all, the Six of Pentacles in the upright position, followed then by Major Arcana of the Devil, reversed. And next we have the Two of Cups in the upright, followed then by the Page of Pentacles, upright. And next we have the Two of Wands in the upright position. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Saggy, for your overall energy, you have that of the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. I do like this energy, one of my favorites. Uh, the Six of Pentacles, very balanced energy. This can represent for some of you, say, if the balance has gone out of your relationship, it could be that the balance is now returning to a relationship. It could be definitely your significant other, but it could be even with a best friend or someone else. This card is also the card of generosity. This could be and reciprocity. It could be equal, represent equal work for equal pay. It can represent uh, some of you if you should need a helping hand with something. Maybe you need a loan for um, a mortgage or a car or something like that. It could be the answer is yes, that you will be able to uh, obtain a loan if you should need it. The energies can go both ways too. So maybe somebody else might in your family or friend circle may be needing some assistance from you and it looks like you're very happy to do so. And coming right off the hop, we have Major Arcana, the devil in the reverse position. This is the Capricorn card. When the devil is in the upright position, this can represent having a lot of temptations around us, and it's very hard to resist when it's in the upright position. When the card is inverted, however, you are having no trouble <laughs> resisting the situation. It could be some of you are trying very hard to stick to a financial plan or stick to a diet or stick to whatever it is, quit smoking or whatever it is you've given up. And it could be that the temptation is around, but you're feeling very strong and just saying no to things that are not good for you or you feel are not good for you. And that includes also ruminating thoughts. A lot of times the devil in the upright can represent obsessions like OCD, thinking a lot about a situation. When the card is reversed, you're releasing that energy. Very good. And it's paired up with the Two of Cups in the upright position. Talk about beautiful energy. The Two of Cups is really nice. It's simpatico energy. This is when we're on the same page with someone. Can represent a best friend. Can definitely represent a relationship. Maybe a new relationship or an existing relationship. Whatever the situation is, this can also sometimes just refer to having a really good conversation with somebody. Maybe you run into someone that you haven't seen in a while or don't even know that well and then you start to talking and realize just how much you have in common or how much um, um, just just basically like you're on the same page with this person this can definitely represent twin flame or soulmate energy coming together with that person so again it's just a general read take it as it applies now moving on towards the weekend we have the page of pentacles here in the upright position this is a court card so it could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is earth energy that of taurus uh, virgo capricorn sun moon rising male or female the page of pentacles uh, pages generally bring in messages. So for some of you, this could be a message concerning a, a job situation. It can be a message, say, for some of you, because the Page of Pentacles can represent a scholar. Uh, this could be a child or maybe even a grandchild for some of you is maybe graduating and um, you've got the message to uh, show up for graduation. <laughs> For others of you, this could just be messages about um, something that could be of importance to you on the tangible uh, front, such as finances, uh, a job, a home situation, or an apartment. So expect a message to come through for you guys towards the end of the week. It could be from this uh, Page of Pentacles. So 
be on the lookout for that Sagittarius and the last card you have here is the two of wands in the upright position this is very progressive forward moving energy but it's still in the early stages this is where we've taken the initial spark in the ace of wands and we're moving towards um whatever the goal is or whatever the completion is but it's just in the planning stages it can represent movement it can represent having that one foot in the past one foot in the future where we're making strides we could be planning with another person to either move across country we could be planning to move to a different country we could be planning to start a business or build a home or do those kinds of things together with someone else but it's just in the planning stages you still have that one foot in the past <laughs> so i'm going to pull a card from the oracle uh, deck here to give you an additional message sagittarius for your week and let's see what the cards have to say to Sagittarius. Gratitude. That's your message for the week. Sagittarius is gratitude. It's beautiful. Oh, look at this. I just realized that this energy and this energy are very similar, aren't they? <laughs> wow, that's wild. <laughs> Gratitude, just be grateful for whatever comes your way, whether it be on the financial front or work front or home front or relationship front. It looks like something really special could be happening for Sagittarius this week. So that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye bye for now.